In this video, we're going to sort the row H bag number one. So I've got my booklet taken out of the baggie, and inside we have H1 through 6 and H7 through 13, and there are three of these, I believe. Yes, so there's three eight and a half inch or four and a half inch blocks, excuse me. On the back, it says the four and a half inch squares are <clears throat> for H2, H8, and H12. So I'm going to take two of them and set them aside so that that's with the next bag. And then the other one, I'm going to label H2. So we've got that here. And then these I'm going to put over to the side for the next thing. First thing I do, I'm going to go into the booklet and see which one of these have been modified. So we've got H2 has been modified, which is where this goes. So I'm going to write in my book that H2 is modified. And so that's H2 and H3 is the next one. Yep, H3. And then H6 is also the other one that's in this bag. So then we want to mark it in our book. H6 is modified right here. So I've got those labeled. So then the next thing to do is to dump out my bag and start sorting. Get all of these pieces out of the baggie. Make sure we got them all. I'm gonna set this aside. So the first thing I do is I kind of pile them into like pieces. So, you know, triangles, rectangles. Sometimes I do, depending on how many triangles are in here, and there's a ton in here, holy cow. Um, I'll sometimes do them by shape, or uh, not shape, but size. Um, in this case, I've got pentagons. And then I've got non 90 degree triangles. Let me move this over a little bit. So I've got these and I've got squares. As I'm doing this, I'm going to look to see what I need to find. So I have my block here, so I have squares. So we're going to be real picky about the size here. So we got that square. And then I'm going to make sure that they're all the same size because sometimes they are minorly off. But these are laser cut and so they should be exact to the next one. And then I've got rectangles. So let me go through and see how many of these pieces I can find and then I'll pile them into groups. So one of the main problems of these kits is the triangles. In this kit, there's some easy triangles. There's eight of them need, that need to be on this square, and there's eight of them that are like a medium size. There's a bunch of them like this. I haven't counted them yet. And then there's ones that are smaller than you need. So there's that size that looks like it might be okay, but it's not, and this one's even smaller yet. So those are going to be okay, but sometimes this, the triangles are very close in size but in this case it's obvious what triangles these are so I found all my pieces now let me get them all laid out so I found all my H1 pieces now I'm going to label them I usually use this little narrow sharpie but I don't have it with me because I'm in a different location so I'm just going to use an ink pen and hopefully it works but let me just label these H1 so now I've got all my pieces labeled H1. Next thing to do is to label the focus fabric. And I'm going to use a colored ink pen in this case since I don't have my normal fat red Sharpie. So I'm going to got the corners here, the pentagons, home base shapes, however you want to call it. Then the triangles are background. Then the rectangles around the center. And then the squares inside, two of them are focus fabric and two of them are background. 
So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna bag these up and we can move on to the next one. Next is H2. So we're gonna use the four and a half inch block for this section. And then we have, so that's gonna negate these. Let's pull out our booklet so we can work from there actually. Now, the last time I made this block, I had directional fabric, and so I used this to indicate what direction I wanted it to point and which one, so these were the focus fabrics. So that's why there's arrows on my block, but we're not going to worry about that for this because I have solid colors. So we have four and a half inch block, which we're going to set to the side, and then we have all of these 60 degree triangles here, and then these are a little bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and take my triangle pile that looks like that and sort them out and hopefully I can find the bigger ones too. So I've got my equilateral triangles laid out and then the two different triangles are on each end. First we're going to label these H2 and then we can look at focus fabric. Now we can look at focus fabric. Focus fabric for these the outside triangles are going to be focus fabric. And then we have one triangle background, one triangle focus fabric. So start at one end and then do every other. So the ones that point the same direction. So we've got these and then these. And then these. And then this one, okay? One, so that you want the the sides, just the points are what's gonna touch each other. The sides are not, are gonna touch the other color. Okay, so we've got the focus fabric labeled. If you have a directional fabric, you're gonna wanna indicate that on your pieces now. But I'm gonna bag these up, and then I can go to the next section. Next, we're working on H3. H3 is also modified. So we're gonna go to the booklet for the layout. So they've fattened these up a little bit, basically. So let's lay this out here. And then I'm gonna find my pieces. There's these funky shapes. I have a funky shape pile. So I can go into there and find what I need quite quickly. But let me get to the rest of these we can find the triangles and all that kind of thing. So for the triangles, there are six that are the same size. All the other little, little-ish ones are gonna be smaller. I had to check to see if they were the same size in the, in the outside and the inside. And so all six of these should be the same, same shape. They're the same size triangle but I wanted to confirm that. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to find the rest of my pieces. So we talked about these. Now these, there are 12 total in this bag. They're all exactly the same size. So grab four of them for this block. And then these, there's only four of these and they all go in this block. So let me finish laying these out. So I've got my pieces finally laid out and now I'm gonna label them H3. Next is to label the focus fabric. So let's look at this picture. So they have the arrow pieces with the triangle. The arrow pieces will be background. So this inside triangle will be focus fabric. Whoops. The little ones here, a little one here. And then the big ones in the center as well are focus fabric. The outside of the flying geese on both sides our focus fabric. The squares are background. The little triangles are focus fabric. Okay, so we've got four triangles and then these two and these two, the middle two and the, outs or the, the tiny two in the middle. So that's all the focus fabric. If you have directional, you're gonna wanna make note of that. I'm gonna go ahead and bag these and we can move on to H4. H4 is gonna have these funky shapes in them. So we've got the two of these, and they're not gonna, uh, I'm using the original Dear Jane. These are not gonna lay 
onto the angle correctly because of the math that was involved in diagramming these. But once we get all three of these pieces, this diamond in the center and these, they're going to fit just fine because they fit to each other and you're not going to know the difference at the end of the day. So yes, the diamond doesn't match, but the other pieces compensate for it and it fills that just fine. Let me find these other corner pieces and we can finish this layout. So I've laid out my pieces and now I'm going to label these H4. And there's directional pieces here. Somebody asked me about directional pieces and I've never had a problem with it, but I had to get thinking about it. When I'm done with my blocks, I have a mirror image of what this is because this is how it's going to look on the back. So then when you flip it over, it's a mirror image. So it's going to look like this when it's like this. And the reason is, is because I lay it out like this. If you want to flip it over and do all that, fine. But once you write on it, that's the side that is not on the fabric. And therefore you're not going to have directional issues. You will have a mirror image, but nobody's going to know at the end of the day. So our focus fabric is going to be this diamond in the center and these four pieces on the outside. So the two arrow looking pieces are background fabric. So that's going to be it for my H4 block. And I'll bag this up and we can get to the next one. Next is H5 and it's the second to last block. So we have two big triangles and that's going to be for this block. One, two, three, four, eight of the bigger triangles and eight of the little triangles. So I have eight of those here, eight of these here as I throw them all over the place. And then the bars, there's only four of those. Because when I was sorting all the little curved pieces like the drunkard path kind of blocks are for the next, the last block, so I set them off to the side. So these are going to be all my pieces for this block. I just got to get to, I got to get them laid out. Well, here's an issue. So as I'm laying these out, these, these eight triangles are the only triangles they can be. But as you lay them out, and again, this is the first edition book. If you have a second edition book, I don't know if this is still the same way, but a first edition book, this is not going to fit right, but it doesn't matter. Because as you go here, see this is, this is in the point, but it's longer. As you lay all four of these out, they're going to fill the space. Like the last block, they're going to fill the space. They're just not going to be on their individual lines. As long as it ends up fitting to the papers, which make a square, it's not going to matter that it's not the exact right angle. So I can already tell that this is going to be the correct way. So we're going to do this. And so if you leave them on the lines here, even though they don't match up to the middle lines, they match up to the outer lines and that's what matters. So see, this is not lined up correctly, but that doesn't matter because the effect is the same, but the math was different to get the same result. So I've got my H5 pieces laid out and now I'm going to label them H5 if my ink pen holds out. So they're labeled H5, now we do the focus fabric in those corner stones. The triangle on the inside is going to be focus fabric on each corner. The bars are going to be background along with the outside triangle of the half square. And the big triangles are going to be focus fabric. And then of these four in here, the center one is going to be focus fabric as well. If you have a directional concern, you want to mark it right now. And next, I'm going to go to the last block of this bag. Last block of this bag is H6, which is a modified block. So we go to the booklet. The only difference is they've divided these pieces on the border section, so they're a lot easier to, to deal with. So we've got these in two pieces instead of one. So I'm going to take all the pieces I have left, 
over here and get these laid out for this block. So I've got H6 all laid out and now I'm gonna mark them up. So I've got my pieces labeled. Now I'm gonna mark for focus fabric. So I'm gonna move this so I can look at this. All right, so this section in the middle is background. And then that means all the corner pieces around that one are, are this is focus fabric. These are background. You know what I meant. So these two are focus fabric. These two are focus fabric. These two, one, two, one, two. So I should have this in the center and then around them are background. And then these two, these two, these two, these two, focus fabric. All right, again, if you're gonna have a directional fabric you need to indicate, go ahead and do that now. This completes the row H bag number one bag sort.